Okay, so here we want to look at a very special case of a double integral over a rectangle in the plane, and that is when your integrand turns out to be a function of x times a function of y. So this doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen from time to time, especially um, it's especially common when we're working with like polar coordinates or later uh, spherical coordinates. So in this case, you can factor this in just into two single integrals. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the reasoning for that. So let's say we've got this double integral over the rectangle AB cross CD of f of x times g of y. So notice by Fubini's theorem, we can make that a uh, iterated integral. So maybe we'll put the y integral on the outside. So cd ab fx uh, gy uh, dx dy. Okay, good. But now notice that um, this g of y is a constant with respect to the x integral. So what that tells us is that we can write this as the integral from c to d of g of y um, and then inside of this is going to be the integral from a to b of f of x dx and then we have that. Okay, great. But now notice that this thing right here is just a number at this point. It's not even a function of x. It's just a number because we integrate out the x dependence, which means we can factor it out of this y integral, and that's going to leave us with the integral from a to b of f of x dx times the integral from c to d of g of y dy, which is exactly the formula that we wanted. All right, I'll clean up the board and we'll look at a quick example of this. Okay, so as an example of the special case, we'll look at the double integral over the unit square. So this is 0, 1 cross 0, 1. And I'll just point out that sometimes that is notated as 0, 1 squared. And then our integral will be 1 over, uh, sorry, 1 plus x squared over 1 plus y squared. And so now notice we can envision this as the function 1 uh, over 1 plus y squared times um, 1 plus x squared, which indeed makes that a function of x times a function of y. So that means we can split this up into two single integrals. So we'll have the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 plus x squared dx times the integral from 0 to 1 of 1 over 1 plus y squared dy. And now we're good to go just to apply calculus 2 or really the end of calculus 1 in this case. So this one is going to be x plus 1 third x cubed. We've got to evaluate that from 0 to 1. And then this one is going to be the inverse tangent. So we have this is times the arctan of y. We've got to evaluate that from 0 to 1. Okay, so now notice plugging 1 into this, we get 1 plus a third, which is 4 thirds. Plugging 0 in, we'll get 0, so that's minus 0. Now, plugging uh, 1 into that, we get the inverse tangent of 1, which is pi over 4. Plugging 0 in there, we get the inverse tangent of 0, which is 0. So in the end, we just get pi over 3. Okay, good. So we're done.